Hey, what's up everybody, Eternal Fire here, and today I'm gonna to be telling you about an add-on that in my opinion is a real quality of life increase, especially in the pre-patch for Shadowlands with the unpruning of all these abilities and these extra uh, things and utilities you have to put onto your action bars and your action bars are getting cluttered. This is a great time to clean up your action bars to optimize the way you want your layout to be moving into Shadowlands so you don't have to do it once the uh, expansion launches. And what Opie does is it allows you to create um, a really cool wheel here which frees up a lot of space for your action bars and you can do a whole bunch of different ones it's just a single key bind and you can have um, you know a bunch of different things so the sky is really the limit with this you could have potions you could have consumables you could have buffs you could have you know whatever you want to do so I'm going to show you how to install it and then I'm going to show you how to optimize it so first we're gonna to go to Curse Forge, which is now powered by uh, Overwolf. And what this is, is it's replacing Twitch, uh, your Twitch add-ons from the Twitch app. So if you haven't already done that and you have the Twitch app, you can go to Twitch app and there's a notification now that you can install Overwolf. And it basically has just completely replaced it. Um, I actually think the, the, the layout is a little bit cleaner because it's just for add-ons versus where Twitch had the add-on section as well as everything else Twitch has in their app. So you'll go here, you'll click on World of Warcraft, make sure you're in retail because if you have beta or um, whatever, classic. So make sure you have retail and then you're gonna go to get more add-ons, you're gonna go to the search bar, you're gonna search Opie, O-P-I-E and you are going to uh, search hit enter or refresh, and then you're gonna download OP right here. Um, all you need to do is hit install and then it's gonna automatically go into the game. So then you're gonna open up World of Warcraft. And at this point, to access the add-on, you can go to interface, you'll be here. You go to interface and then click add-ons and access it here. Or you can simply do forward slash OP and it'll open it for you. So the only customization that I made with this add-on was uh, center ring at mouse. So if you have this unchecked, which it is by default, what it does is it'll open the ring in the middle of your screen. And let's say my mouse is over here, I don't wanna have to now drag my mouse to the middle of the screen to select the uh, item from the wheel that I wanna pick. It's gonna slow down my reaction time. So I prefer to have it uh, you know, be able to open it anywhere I want. So going back to the setup, uh, you have some default ring bindings here, and this is where you, you will customize the bindings that you want. But to make our own ring, we're gonna click on custom rings, add new, and I'm gonna do consumables for the purpose of this video. So consumables, add ring, and then you're here. And you're gonna hit this little plus sign to add new slice to the ring, and you can pick whatever you want. So like I said, I'm gonna do cust uh, consumables, so I'm gonna do a augment rune, I'm gonna do a health potion, I'm gonna do a invisibility potion. Uh, we're gonna do our buff. So, you know, you can select from anywhere here. I'm gonna do battle shout. And then let's get one more on there. Uh, let's do our food, buff food. So now we have all the things here. If you wanna delete something, simply click on it and hit delete slice and it'll be gone. So if you wanna put it back, simply go and find it again in the category. And as you can see, I mean, like I said, there's so many options here. You could literally just make it for your mounts. You could make it for your pets. You could do whatever you want, toys. Um, and basically the whole point of this is just freeing up space on your action bars, making your life a little bit easier. So here we have our consumables. Now I'm gonna to go to key binding and you see we have, uh, I actually have two because I was working on this video. So let's hope this is the right one. Uh, so I'm going to bind it to Shift-7. So when I hit Shift-7 in the game, now we have our consum consumable wheel pop open. So you can go ahead and just start eating food. So it's that easy. Shift-7 or whatever hotkey you choose to use. Choose to use. Um, and then you can just mouse over the direction. You'll see it gets highlighted and then just left click to use. And then right click to cancel. And that is literally all there is to it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.